Good morning. Ah, uh, she doesn't have the headset oh. on yet. I'm getting there. Two seconds, we'll be there in a minute. Oh, oh hi. Oh, good morning. Well, let's pack up, done. Bike's loaded. Ready for our trip home. We've got about, uh, uh, we're heading from here, Manjum up through to Collie. Uh, so I think about one, 180 or something, 190 Ks. So, but I think somebody's got ideas of me stopping for a coffee somewhere. What do you mean, ideas? <laughs> I've had one coffee. So I guess the 8K run from here back into town will be long enough, and then we can stop again, eh? That'd be nice. <laughs> I don't ask much. No, nah, I'm ready for another cup of coffee. It was a um, really good spot to camp, though. Yeah. Yeah, camp kitchen facilities were awesome. Yeah, a camp, camp kitchen just there in front of us. Amenities over the other side there. Uh, pretty quiet campground, really. Yeah. Probably because the playground's over the other side by the pool. Yeah. Tires okay, everything looks good. Give that one a kick. Yep, that'll be alright. Stop it. <laughs> On you get. Oh. And away we go. How's the visor? Oh, I was just going to say, nice clean visor. The pillion does know her job. <laughs> First thing she did before she even had a drink yesterday back at camp. Yeah. Yeah, that's because if you have a drink first, it never gets done, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Come out of Manjama, come out as far as the uh, Cozy Creek motocross circuit. We've turned off, uh, stopped in town, had a nice cup of coffee. It was good coffee, and yeah. you, we might have had a yummy piece of cake. Yeah, so uh, now we'll uh, just follow this route that I got on the um, on the GPS here and see where it takes us. Oh, that didn't take us too long to get onto dirt, so no, that's a good start good. today. Yep. Pretty glad we stopped for coffee because not sure how many towns we're actually going to manage to go through looking at where we're going today. Yeah, I think we're going to skirt around the back of uh, most of them. So Bridgetown, Bailing Up, uh, Donnybrook. Mm. We're going to cut across to Grimwade, which is a favourite little spot of ours. We've camped there many times before. And then uh, cut up in through the back of the Ferguson Valley and up into Wellington Dam. We... It's a bit sketchy. Yeah. And then from there, uh, probably won't go into Collie. We'll chuck a left and head back down the hill and head for home. Yep. So we'll see if there's any interesting points along the way. We'll uh, we'll come back, put the camera on, and see what we find. Yep. Hey, we're going to go around this one. Kangaroo Road. Is that a sign? Yeah. Hope not. <laughs> well, we've ended up in some pretty cool twin tracks straight away. Yeah. Nice pick. Back in the grass trees and the banks. Yeah. Tall timbers are gone. Yeah. <laughs> too, too far north again now for that. Pretty quick. Or well, north and sort of inland, you'd lose yep. it pretty quick, eh? Yeah. There's a couple of stretches of road, sort of that Pemberton around, and then down through from Margaret River down to Augusta. 
yeah. the Boran up where there's still some pretty stunning pieces. But it really is unique to that bottom corner. Yeah, definitely. This has got us into a bit more of a, uh, a lesser used road, I suppose. This one. Most definitely. Um, got, a, got a dumb bird running down the oh. track in front of us. <laughs> he's, I guess he's trying to get into the paddock. He wants to see his friends. But yeah, that's it, oh, mate. Go that go way. Go that way. Don't come back, please. Thank you. Oh, yeah. oh, there's two of them over there too. Oh, yeah. I do love how their tail feathers flounce when they <laughs> run. Whoa. Soft. Yeah. We're in a piece of track that has got some very soft sand. Just need a little bit more speed. But there's a balance because too much speed and all of a sudden things get very untidy yeah and the front tire there's not really very good in sand so yeah especially not with this much weight mm. that's all right we got through bike still upright come out of the uh, come out of the bush out to a bit of farmland sort of a, a couple of small stands of those jurassic trees <laughs> <laughs> Just a really nice farm vista, really. Yeah, it's beautiful. Um, we had a crop of canola that's pretty much ready for harvest on the other side of the road there. A um, bit more cattle. Yeah, really nice little pocket. Yeah, we just pulled up alongside the Blackwood River. Just out here on our left-hand side. Little what? Little glimpses gonna... of it through the trees. Yeah, it's nice. We're going to follow this along for a bit. Because uh, we've actually got to get across the river. Um, so we'll follow this till we come up to another main road and there's a bridge across the river. But very happy to see that the sign was 10k winding road. Yeah. So, and it's a gravel one again, so that's always good. Get up on the hilltops here, it's windy out here. It is. All exposed, no trees to yeah, block no the wind. Trees, just full farmland out here. Yeah. Oh, it's a cool piece of road though. This has been actually a, a not bad, I guess, side road. Yeah. Actually, like you say, a little bit loose on the gravel, but good condition. Good, good fun on a big bike. Yeah. Fridgetown is 22 k's from here. Oh, and she's a, a one-way bridge, one lane bridge. A picture, I think. That's well, actually a little. Um, wonder how you're supposed to get into that. Well, there's a track down the side there. I don't know where that goes. Oh, though. it might go under. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. All right, I jump off. Sure. I'll take a couple of pictures. Oh. Any excuse? Oh, okay. There's a sign over here, so you can see where the, ro the river is, but in front of you. Oh, yeah. Uh, in January 82, the water level was up to a sign here. Oh, wow. Yeah, just at, at the road level. So pretty much at road level. That's a massive amount of water. Yeah. That's very cool. Love the old iron on the bridge. Yeah. Stunning river. She's a big river, all right. How about out this side? Ah, so that's the Blackwood crossed over. done that a few times at various points, but I don't think we've ever done that bridge. No, I don't think I've ever been through here. No. Oh. We're just coming through the little township of Hester. It's a timber mill town. Just come past the timber mill. Uh, 
it was pretty pretty heavily impacted by bushfire I don't know what two four. three years ago yeah yeah it was um it was a pretty severe fire actually yeah um, did so, damage some of the mill buildings and things yeah uh, good to see some buildings being rebuilt and people still uh, continuing to live here and whatnot we're gonna go down this one mm. seem that uh, the microphone system went flat for the last two video clips so we missed all our talking coming into Grimwade. But we'll do so, a quick... Yeah we'll do a quick recap. Left hand side here, nice big open area for camping and, and whatnot. Now and we're going to go out here. You saw the dam, so that was the bottom dam. Um, old mill town, so I think it only closed in the 70s. Um, but there's no houses left, just pads. Um, when we came in, we came past what we think is the old, probably, mechanic shop. Um, there's a lot of evidence of old oil filters and stuff. Um, and up through this way, you can see pretty whole, much house pads. And a whole lot of trees that really shouldn't be out here in the native <laughs> Australian bush. There is an absolutely stunning oak tree just up there. Um, and yeah, in autumn this place is amazing for the yeah. colours. Um, and then fruit, yeah, there's fruit trees, there's all sorts just kicking yeah, around. Yeah, there's more house sites out over there with citrus. You can quite often get fresh lemons. Um, really good if they haven't sprayed them, blackberries. Uh, and then up here, which we're not actually going past, but you can cut in uh, this track here. And yep. there's another little dam. Um, which in its heyday did have white sand trucked in and a little jetty on it. Uh, so there's still stories of it being here, but yeah, don't go looking because you won't find it. No sandy beaches and no jetty. No, but um, the bottom dam's beautiful for swimming, nice fresh water. It's like a, um, almost like there's a fresh water spring feeding into it. Yeah. Um, water level fluctuates, but yeah, lovely. We, yeah, great place to camp. And these roads and trails around it are just stunning. All right, next stop, we're heading from here through to sort of the Ferguson Valley and uh, on through to the world-renowned Gnomesville <laughs> for a quick stop uh, and then through into the back of Wellington Dam. Hmm. And uh, that'll pretty much see us done for the day then. And we'll just... Once we get out to the highway, the other side of Wellington Dam, we'll uh, head back down the road to home. So there is also an airstrip out in here uh, yes, as well, back, back, back behind the other us. way. Yeah, yeah. Um, which is another popular spot for um, camping. I promise I'm not holding my breath. <laughs> nice little bit of track here. It is. It's been very soft at some point. Could be a little challenging in the wet. Mm -mm. It's probably just as challenging with the, the dry. Just picking your line. Really. The dry plus, you know, what? 400 plus kilos rolling yep. down the road. Yeah. We've done all right. Our, our um, camp gear fully packed, so the bag on the back behind me, I think we weighed it's under 15 kilos. No, less. Less. 
under 13. Under 13 kilos. Yes. Not ideal to have, you know, our, our heavy camping equipment up on the top like that, but we really don't have much choice because the tent doesn't fit inside a pannier bag. No. Um, and it works well because everything is in that one bag. You know, yep. if we get somewhere we want to set up camp, we can literally pull just that bag off and set up camp without having to touch anything else. Mm. Yeah, that, this was the first time we've been able to do it and it was excellent when we arrived on Friday night. And then the same packing up. Yep. We can Every pack everything onto the bike except that one bag and um, pack the tent up, pack everything up, do up mm. one bag, throw it on and go. Yeah. So a little bit of a sacrifice I suppose, a little bit extra weight up on the back versus being able to get everything in one bag and mm. we've still got the the camping like food the kitchen and that kind of thing down lower on the panniers uh, so we haven't got that added into the on top so if you've got food and water and things like that they're at least down low pretty happy with the setup actually with the change of bags um, like with the drink bottles on the front instead of the back yeah not interfering with my seating too much yeah those, the Krieger bottle holders are, are good really good mm. um, my only gripe is that we can't get two Yeti, Yeti bottles <laughs> in one holder they're just not quite big enough but that works well because we can put one in each and then you've got room for snacks yes or just yeah any old thing else basically snacks snacks i think while we were through new zealand we had a um a can of chain lube in one yes uh and new zealand because we didn't have the yetis uh we were just buying fresh up uh i think that was they had like one liter carton tetra packs and they yeah. were perfect great little sidetrack and this one is called was it little road yes just dropped into a little gully and we're following a stream which we're just crossing and there was a sign at the start of the road that said twisties you get a good view from up here right? it's a great view it's a bit windy though corners on this one because this one can have quite a bit of traffic on it at times. Yes. So as always it's advisable to stay left. <laughs> Who turned on the rain? Oh! Well this rain wasn't really forecast. No. Whoa. Little stop. World famous in the southwest. Yep, world famous Gnomesville. This has uh, what, like quadrupled in size since we moved to Bunbury? Yeah. It's not quite as quaint and quirky as it was when we first started coming here, but it's uh, pretty cool.
nose. Impressive mural art on the dam wall. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can walk around the top of it. Doesn't look like there's anybody up there, but yeah. So we'll uh, call it quits, eh? See you in the next one. Yeah. Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs>